guys, it's Jen and Lauren. And you're watching Mascara and Metcons. Today, Jen and I are going to tell you how we go about setting our goals for 2016. And we're going to share with you some of the goals that we've set for ourselves for this year, 2016. So the first thing you want to do is write down all the goals for this year. You want to categorize them into personal, health, and career. The second thing you're going to want to do is set a timeline for yourself. You don't want to write these big goals and just say, by the end of the year, this is what I want to accomplish. You need to set a timeline so you have specific uh, moments to be accountable to. After you do that, you want to set behavior goals. Behavior goals are going to be the things that are going to help you achieve those milestone small goals that you set. So if you set a goal of by the end of the month, I want to weigh a certain amount of weight. Let's say it's like two pounds lighter. How are you going to do that? You can set behavior goals of going to the gym however many days a week or by simply prepping your food five days out of the week. Exactly. Set small behavior goals at first, something that is attainable for you, um, and then go from there. The next thing you wanna do is find someone to be accountable to. This could be a best friend, your coach, your spouse, anybody, but make sure you carve out some time every once in a while to go over your goals with somebody and make sure that they're holding up their end of the bargain to achieve their goals and that you're doing what you need to achieve your goals. This could simply be a couple minutes at a coffee shop or asking a friend over for a nice glass of wine. It's up to you, but make sure that you have someone to be accountable to. This is a major point in achieving those goals. And then you wanna track and log your progress. So this means if you wanna write it down in your nice little new journal, um, tracking your food on my fitness pal. Yep. Um, it just like gives you something to look back on and then something to reevaluate if you want to do it on daily, a weekly or monthly basis. That way you can see what you need to change. Like if you committed to go to 6 a.m. class and you've been like working extra hard in your job at work and you just can't get up that early in the morning, you'll see that as you, you know, track and write down why you couldn't make it to the gym and maybe you have to join the 7.30 p.m. crew, you know? It happens sometimes. Yeah. Now we're gonna share with you guys a goal of each of ours that we accomplished in 2015 and what we did to accomplish it. I'm gonna start off with mine. One of my goals that I accomplished in 2015 was getting double unders. It was something that- Stringing them together, yeah, specifically. Together, specifically stringing them together. One of the ways that I was able to accomplish this goal was that every time that there were double unders in the workout, I either forced myself to do them or at least did like double under attempts so even if I couldn't make all of the double unders, I was attempting, so like doing the movement. And then also I had a friend, or I have a friend at the gym, who's also trying really hard to get their double unders too. So every time we'd work out together, we would be like, okay, you do them, we'll do them together. And then after class, we would practice sometimes. So that was one of the ways that I was able to achieve that goal. I practiced and I like made myself do it. And then I had my friend that I was accountable to. So that was awesome. And we did Annie the other day oh, and yeah. she did all the double unders. She was like, she did so many and we were all just watching her and then all of a sudden she turned around and was like, how many was that? Yeah, I wasn't like, counting. What? <laughs> I wasn't like counting. She was so excited that she got them all strung together. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what about yours, Lynn? Um, So 2015, I set a goal that I wanted to get a muscle up on this, I mean, this was like specifically after the open, so it was kind of like a late 2015 goal of mine. What I did to help like accomplish that, and recently I got my first bar muscle up. Um, next, I'm gonna get a ring muscle up. I you promise. Will. Mm -hmm. What I did was I really just spoke, like broke down the movement and focused on like working on my strength, my pulling strength, and. Um, the progression of the muscle up and like practicing it mm -hmm. at least three times a week. Yeah. Letting everyone know in the gym like, I'm gonna get a Almost muscle there. up. I'm getting closer. So <laughs> having everyone like support me and hold me accountable for practicing all my gymnastics every day, that was definitely like something that played a huge part in me getting my bar muscle up. 
yeah, and it was really cool and I can't wait to get her ring whistle up. You'll get it, it's coming, I know. This year, Jen and I have very uh, similar goals. We both want to snatch more weight and how we're gonna do that is by first optimizing our range of motion by doing Ramwad. Ramwad is it's a, it's a daily stretching routine yes. to help with your range of motion and recovery we'll leave links below so you guys can check it out there's also if you go to the website you can get like a seven day free trial um but we've met the creators they're so they're so really nice. really nice they're and two brothers they're one is yogi one is all about crossfit, CrossFit. And basically they started this company because they realized that CrossFitters were shitty movers and they were so tight they didn't know how to stretch. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically that roughly sums it up. Yeah, that's how Ramwad was born. And I've been doing it for, I guess, a year now probably. And it really has improved my mobility. You know, do a proper rep, you know, get that hip crease below your knees so that's one of my behavioral goals will be you know my little subcategory to you know having a heavier snatch is going to be to being super dedicated to doing my ramwad on a regular basis same here i've been doing it on and off um for a year and i haven't been consistent so this year i need to be a little bit more consistent jen's gonna, I'm hold, gonna hold, oh, hold me hold me accountable for that's it that's right so are you guys, and so is Ramwad now because they know. Ramwad knows. <laughs> they know. <laughs> so we're gonna hold each other accountable in doing all of the behavioral things to increase our snatching weight. You can check in with us on Instagram. We'll post our progress there and we'll put little updates and stuff and share little tips with like stretching and like mobility and you know, stuff like that. We're gonna try really hard this year to post more on Instagram, more videos of us being in the gym and just doing regular life stuff. So if you wanna follow us on Facebook or Instagram, we'll leave the links below. So we wanted to thank you guys for watching us in 2015. We're super excited for what 2016 has to bring for our channel and for you guys with your goals. Make sure you comment below and let us know what you want to achieve this year and we can all hold each other accountable. Yeah. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Cheers to our goals. Ah! You were doing so well. Until then. Yeah. But jump in. Oh, hey Noah Olsen. What's up? Oh, hey babe. <laughs> okay. That's all. <laughs> I'm not putting but, that in there. That's okay.